exchange I recently had with a Calvinist pastor. He writes, Arminians seem to believe we can save ourselves. Humans have the ability to believe in Christ just like they can believe in Buddha. Therefore, in their understanding of the plan of salvation God has made available, we can now save ourselves. Works says, I don't need Christ. I can gain acceptance with God through my own righteousness and self-effort. Likewise, Arminians say, I don't need Christ. I'm able to savingly believe in Christ and gain forgiveness. Unfortunately, comments like this are leveled against Arminians more often than you might think. It's quite common for Calvinists to claim that Arminianism is man-centered in its belief system as opposed to them being God-centered. Many also claim that Arminianism is works-based at its core. You have to do meritorious works to make yourself right with God as opposed to Calvinism being all of grace. Why are such charges leveled against Arminians? Well, it's because we scandalously believe that when the gospel is presented to an individual, that individual's response determines whether they become saved or whether they remain in darkness and unbelief. Quite scandalous, I know. I hope you sense my sarcasm there. Looking into this, are such charges against Arminians based on truth? Are they man-centered and works-oriented? The answer is clearly no. And you need to know, in making this charge, they can't really support their claim from a thorough integration of the scriptural text. No, they reach this conclusion because the system that undergirds their doctrinal beliefs demands it. Now here's what I mean. Calvinists hold to the concept of total inability, uh, which means that the unregenerate man, the unsaved man, is unable to make any move toward God unless God first, unilaterally, by himself alone, regenerates and saves him. Thus, faith and belief in their system is the result of having already been regenerated by God. God alone does this without any input whatsoever from man. Since Arminians believe that faith and belief result in salvation, and it is the responsibility of man to believe when the message is preached, they say that this opens the door in their minds for works. In Arminianism, people are saved by their works, they say. But on the day of Pentecost, when the crowd asked Peter, what shall we do, after they heard that they were largely responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus, why doesn't Peter say to them, don't you know, haven't you heard of the T and the acronym TULIP, total inability? You can't do anything. But he actually says, you need to do something to be saved. Respond to the message in this particular context through repentance and baptism, and then they would receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wouldn't they have then boasted in what they did? Why would they do that? As Paul says, boasting is excluded by the law of faith as opposed to works of merit. Now to him who works, the wages are not counted as grace, but as debt. But to him who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. The truth is, The reason that Calvinists claim that Arminianism is works-based and man-centered is because they bring in assumptions from the outside, and then they read Scripture through the grid of their assumptions. If such assumptions are not held to, or if they are proven fallacious, then no one would 
level the works charge against Arminians, because think about it. A drowning man in the middle of the ocean would never claim that he contributed any degree to his rescue by simply extending out his arm to grab the life preserver that was so generously and graciously offered to him by the man in the helicopter. Uh, such an unearned and undeserved gift, even though he had to do something to grab it, would surely promote great humility, not boasting, because such an act is not a meritorious act at all. And only a fool would afterwards, at a, the press conference, center the attention on himself. Now, a man in his right mind would want the attention off of himself and centered on the individual, the one who saved him. Hmm, that sounds an awful lot like Arminianism. Thank you for watching the Arminian Minute.